If this is your first time in Laravel, a number of things will be very, very confusing. Uh, even if you are a, a veteran in coding PHP, um, one of the things that is, in, is com makes it that makes it confusing is the way Laravel thinks uh, and the way Laravel models its folders. But if you can just understand the folder structure of Laravel and the way the data passes or data, depending on what you want to call it. If you can just understand the way data passes from one file to another, everything in Laravel, everything else is easy because it returns to normal PHP that you code. All right. So I'm going to try and explain it here. Uh, in case this is the first time you're using Laravel, you're coding Laravel, the first thing is look at you, the actor. You visit your, uh, your you open your computer, your browser, you open a Laravel website. What you see is in resources views folder. So if we go to our Laravel app, and look at the views folder. I'm gonna have to minimize a number of things here. Okay. I'll have to close a number of things. Close, 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 close. All right, look at our full Laravel folder. So what, whatever the user is seeing, the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript they're seeing, it's in resources, views, this folder. So this is where you dump all the files. Let me show you an example of a file here. It will have home.blade. As you can see, it is HTML. But it is a special kind of HTML, Laravel recreated, um, sort of recreated HTML so that they can add PHP into it in a very intuitive way. So they call that um, Blade. It's a templating engine. It's called Blade. You understand? If you're coming from PHP, uh, Cake PHP, Cake PHP uses um, uh, Cake templating templating engine which is called ctp so in laravel they hijacked another templating engine called blade and that's what they use all right so as you can see it's basic html so this is what the user sees all right now the next thing it's all in resources views so the javascript and the css files are all referenced from here look at when you look at the layouts folder you see app.blade when you click on app.blade You'll see that it's your normal HTML file. See, this is normal full HTML head, head, then you have body, and so on. So it's your normal HTML file. But then the rest of all the other pages are referenced here. Look at yield content. So this particular code will pick up any new page you visit and insert it here. This is the navigation part of the, part, uh, the site, the top part of the web page. Look at it, the navigation, the whole of this code. And this is the footer there is no footer so um, this is the main part of the code and as you can see it makes use of just uh it imports this yield content is basically telling it that whatever page is being loaded i should take the whole content and put here so when we visit home.blade for instance home page home page if you look at the top it's saying extends layout and it's saying content so what what the, what is the section is content what this section look at section content section so what this section what this is basically saying is take all the code that i just highlighted get back to layout app and insert it wherever you see yield content so which means if we wanted uh, wanted to put something somewhere else we can for instance say at yield javascript you understand so I can I can call it app JS whatever yield JS so under the whole the, the main JavaScript files of this application that came with it at the bottom we can uh, add other JavaScript files that might be in this page in any page we are getting in so if we want to use any specific Java special JavaScript files in any of our pages for instance let's say you wanted to write a JavaScript code that will um, a jQuery code that will change the color of a button you can do at section JS basically telling it that whatever it's in between the section code it should um, insert it so whatever code we now write here we can now start writing a script and start writing JS um, uh, any JavaScript file, any JavaScript code we want to write, or jQuery, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever code you write here, um, Laravel will take it and go to the main page. Look at the, the main page you're importing here, which is layout, layout folder, dot app, app file. 
which is app.blade it will take whatever you you put here and go to layout app and start looking for the section that is called js in this case this is where it is and so it will replace whatever is here with the code we wrote there so it will work you understand so this is how it works in laravel if we get back to the page we had before i'm just gonna have to delete a number of these things um i'm going to delete this because we don't need it so if we get back to the page we have now so this is where all your view files your html files are dumped so but then uh what i wanted to explain to you is that if you come here in this app.blade which is your main app with main uh file html file what you see is at the top is that people are uh, that um you're able to import or people using laravel can import any css file that will be site-wide to this any css file that you want to or work with all the rest of the site you can import it here so for instance app.css so but this css folder and this app file is inside public when you go to public this css folder look at it here inside the public and this app.css look at it here so if you wanted to add external css uh, css files javascript files or any other type of file pdf whatever uh, this could be a good place to add it the public sec public folder just create a folder and start dumping it or if, if it's a javascript for instance you can start dumping everything here all right so at the end of the day you use this code to reference it now the next thing we're looking at is the user is seeing html and css here and javascript here so if they click on any link laravel goes to check a, a file there's a file called web.php web that is inside a folder called routes laravel goes to web.php to check the list of routes there and see whether the link that was clicked whether the routes was created if the routes was created from here it can know which of your codes in your controller to work to go and execute you understand so let's go see what is in web.php if we get back to web uh web.php in routes folder we see web.php so when somebody clicks a link uh laravel comes here to check okay uh, uh, my site.com slash login slash facebook was clicked oh that's cool uh and then um it will go and start looking for login controller or oh, login controller so we're gonna go to auth folder look at it if you go to app um http so it's gonna go to auth folder and look for login controller look at auth folder looks for login controller oh this is where we are talking about then inside login controller is gonna start looking for redirect to provider method so if we look at if we open this we're gonna see this code and we're gonna look at see a uh, redirect to provider and don't worry if you're not seeing all this code because um uh, i'll write these codes in the future if you're watching this if you're watching this video before any of this code is present in your app don't worry the code was written in the future section of this video so don't worry if it's not present i'm just using this video to explain very important concepts so inside the login controller we're seeing um redirect to provider you understand so this is how laravel basically works it out it, it goes for every link that is clicked it goes to check in the routes folder to know which of the uh, functions to execute here and which file to work with so this place contains your main php codes this the controller the controller is present like i just showed you it's present in, in your app folder http you see controller it executes your main business logic your main php codes are actually executed here but they are all separated into different files you can create your own files as you understand laravel more and more you just create your own style a file and dump your data inside which is what we'll be doing uh going forward in the video tutorials okay so now uh you've understood what the controller does the each controller talks with a model a model it defines the relationships for instance uh, you know uh, this is relational database so your users table might be related to your post table using one-to-one -one relationship and so on so a model file defines those relationships when you install laravel newly it comes with um, user.php model file by default and um it doesn't do a very smart thing by dumping it it dumps it directly it dumps it directly here so it just comes with it if you go here this is a user file this basically makes call to the database you understand so look at it 
app so the the model file is either in the app like the one we're seeing now the user model was dumped directly here app is, is an app folder user.php but then apart from that a better a better way that i feel personally a better way to do it is to put it inside a folder called model so that uh, when you're looking at it you know that it's model that will do further down in this uh, video tutorial we'll put it inside a folder all right so those are your model files they define relationship database relationships and fields as you can see we're defining which fields the user can fill uh, in the form all right so the next thing you're looking at is um the env file it defines uh the name of your database and handles basically um just the name of your database so these models they eventually uh, connect to your database sort of through the env file in fact the env file is a file where you you mention uh, the database parameters and all other parameters that you need it just stores your main global variables look at uh, env file we we saved this and don't don't worry if all these things are not present in your file already because i will explain it uh, I'll, we will do it further down the video tutorial so this exactly is uh, something you should uh, check out uh, and works very well so those model files in a way sort of make use of uh, the data here to connect to your database all right so now you understand exactly how it works so if if a page here is supposed to display a list of posts so what happens first of all is that when this page is opened uh, your Laravel checks route file to know which page is opened once it knows it goes to your controller to look at the code to execute for that page your controller connects your controller file connects to your uh, model file your model file fetches the data in the database sort of like that so let me just show you that controller file how it connects to a model so um, let's open for instance the login controller we wanted to use the user model there which means at the top here we're going to import user I see app user which is basically app folder user file look at the user file app folder the user file so if this user file was inside another folder called models we will have app models user file hope you get how it works now so which means further down the tutorial we'll start adding some of the code you're seeing here that is not existing in your app already but it kind of helps you to have a general overview of how laravel works in case you're new to laravel so that the rest of the video tutorial will be very very easy so see you in the next video thank you